Okay, well, my name is Antonio. I am Ecuadorian and I am in the Galapagos. These beautiful islands that are very well known because of evolution and because of Charles Darwin. I'm a very optimistic person. Um, I really like to think about human beings in terms of animals. I think it's very important, not to me only, but for everybody to see, to see us as animals. Evolution in humans is, is something that is, is really funny because it's a common belief that we are doing extremely well as human beings. A number of reasons, first of all, our numbers, we go on the six billion and uh, growing, and we're populating the entire planet. We're taking all the ecosystems available, and even not, not the, the not available ones, like uh, in the outer space. So the general idea is that our progress, science, is doing very well. But if you look into what we observe about nature, is that there definitely ecosystems are declining, many ecosystems, and the decline of ecosystems leads rapidly to the extinction of the animals and the plants that live in those ecosystems. Uh, ecosystems change because of uh, elements that we remove and we add to these ecosystems as a society of human beings. And by doing this, basically, we're leading those creatures to extinction. The same thing, I believe, is happening to us. We also, again, we have to think we are animals to understand that we need an ecosystem to live. Just like a whale, uh, they need an ecosystem, they need certain elements there, and spice, space and time, and food and water and air, so do we. And these are the things that we are also destroying together with everything else. Not destroying it because we want to, it's the part of the process for us to, for survival, to produce food, and it's very understandable. It's what we call the economic progress. But uh, at the same time, we are, are observing today that all these many species in our planet are becoming extinct. So my point is, we also are in the same trend because we're doing exactly the same to our own ecosystems. Uh, you can see that when there is a, a new appearance of a new species of any kind, there originally there's always an explosion of population. They grow and they take over everything. And then is when they have to settle and establish. And that's a, a point that we haven't reached yet. Uh, most of the species uh, that the fossil record shows and studies show, they usually decline, fall and collapse completely. The fast growth is not a sign of doing well, actually it's a sign of doing very bad. And uh, in the case of human beings, it's especially so because we are extremely young, very, very new, and we are rapidly running out of all the resources that we really need to live today. We are a very sensitive species, we are fragile. We're just beginning to adapt to this incredible planet and still we're very much dependent on a great amount of water and clean air and space. All these three things we are reducing dramatically and uh, therefore my belief is that our species, like many others, are in the same rail of extinction. So evolution is not leading to complexity, it leads simply to survival. So I am optimistic, I think that uh, things can be changed very, very uh, fast, just like the, the last two centuries we have changed our planet, we can do it again. Uh, it's uh, a matter of having a better understanding of who we are. If we are based on the idea that we are supernatural beings, that nothing is going to harm us, then we're wrong, I believe. But if we accept the fact that we're animals, like the others, and we learn to live like the others, then I think we can have a nice community.